nobody desires a recession with all its negative baggage, massive downturns, and morbid inflation. But by the looks of things, the US economy is on the verge of what looks like a repetition of the Great Depression of 1932. With inflation skyrocketing, more money in circulation, and fewer goods being produced, it's only a matter of time before the world's largest economy slides into a harsh recession. Tesla's CEO, the richest man alive, predicted that this recession would hit a global scale. Elon Musk believes that although recessions may be harsh for the common man, it is a good tool to weed out companies with negative financial policies. Why would Elon think this would happen? How are these predictions affecting the stock market? What is the visible cause of the inflation? Join me as I answer these questions and more in this video. But before we begin, thank you for choosing to watch another one of our amazing videos. To enjoy more of these videos, subscribe to Economics Reasons and click the notification bell to get a front row seat. Now, let's begin. Recessions are low blows on any economy. It is a state of the economic downturn caused by sundry factors, which are inflation and bad financial policies and decisions. Elon Musk, SpaceX CEO and leader of one of the biggest EV producing companies in the world, Tesla, has in a tweet predicted a massive recession that would not only hit America, but will hit on a global scale. The Starlink boss believes that the effects of the COVID years, where there was exceptional cash flow and a corresponding boom in the economy with no fundamental economic mechanism to curb this financial outburst, will be one of the causes of this recession. Elon Musk shared on Twitter that the world was thrown into a financial hysteria in 2020, and some individuals who did not understand what it meant to work hard began to live rash and crude lifestyles with money they did did not work hard for. The budding economic slump, according to Elon, will be a way to weed out companies that have not added any value to the country's financial policies, leaving companies with stronger positive financial actions to thrive. This standpoint, although harsh, has been told by other CEOs and economic analysts in different eras. They believe that a recession gives the market back to companies that have built their financial strength with positive reinforcements that will add value to the economy later. In an interview with Bloomberg, Musk commented on this rude awakening. What he perceives as an economic slump will only be a rude awakening to the people who think owning a business and having it thrive is the definition of success. Musk has been vocal about how the US is fast approaching a recession. In December of 2021, he said his gut feeling was that one would likely happen in the spring or summer of 2022 but no later than 2023. Quote, I've been through a few recessions, he said at a tech conference in May. And what tends to happen is if you have a boom that goes on too long, you get a misallocation of capital. It starts raining money on fools, basically. Elon has not always had it golden for him. Before he came into Tesla, the company was a definitive no-gooder. Even with the whopping $6.5 million he pumped into the company, it took them four years to roll out the first products, which did not do so well in the market at the time. The perspective of Elon, as is some other billionaires and CEOs, is that this recession would bring companies with low reserves to their knees and foster the growth of others. While this is like a dog-eat-dog -dog situation, the economy's survival greatly rests on the shoulders of strong companies. A recession is inevitable at some point. As to whether there is a recession in the near term, that is more likely than not, Musk told Bloomberg in an interview. Musk and top financial analysts blame this potential inflation on the bad, and he emphasized how bad he thought it was, financial choices of the Joe Biden administration. The Neuralink boss believes that the Trump administration, leaving Trump aside, knew how to get things done. They don't procrastinate actions and they make swift and planned financial reactions to any pressing issues. According to him, this is the kind of government that a country like America requires, a governmental administration filled with thinkers and actors, Musk says. Although Joe Biden has not always been Musk's favorite person, the fact is that some economists in his administration hold the same view. When asked about the looming economic downturn, Joe said he was unaware of any such recession and that Larry Summers assured him the economy was safe. However, Summers is among many economists who have stated that a near-term recession is more likely than not. Larry also asserted that the U.S. unemployment rate must spike above 5% 
and stay there if Americans are to see any relief from inflation. We need five years of unemployment above 5% to contain inflation. In other words, we need two years of 7.5% unemployment or five years of 6% unemployment or one year of 10% unemployment," Summer said in a London speech. There are numbers that are remarkably discouraging relative to the Federal Reserve view. Inflation, an economic situation with more money in circulation with little productivity and little goods for its service, is the root cause of this recession. While having money in the economy is a good thing, it's not always an economically sound policy. What gives the currency of a country value is its relative scarcity and its capacity to purchase high-end goods. However, with money being tossed to and fro, the currency would definitely lose its value. Or worse, the economy would go into a meltdown. Elon's assessment of a recession comes as Wall Street has predicted higher odds of an oncoming recession, with Goldman Sachs saying that the US faces a 30% chance of hitting such a slump over the next year, up from its previous forecast of 15%. When asked how long this recession was going to last by a curious fan on Twitter, Elon said that, based on past experience, about 12 to 18 months. Companies that are inherently negative cash flow, i.e. value destroyers, need to die so that they stop consuming resources. The economic prediction of a slump has started working wonders on the stock prices of EVs and automobiles. Investors have begun to sell their stocks, leaving the stock prices of foremost EV producers including Tesla, to fall drastically. Although the US is currently not in a recession, what billionaires are doing now is selling to make a profit instead of holding on to what seems like a two years economic slump. If there's anything the crash of the crypto market has taught investors, it is to take profit while they still can. And while this may affect Musk's business, the billionaire still believes that the recession will be a good thing, a blessing in disguise, so to speak, to purge the country of inflation and weed out wasteful companies. Some economists still believe that the US may not actually go into a recession. The prevailing sentiment on Wall Street is that the economy still can manage to avoid an actual recession. Michael Cushman, the chief investment officer at Morgan Stanley, said that if you look at these numbers, there's pretty much nothing that the Fed would say, this is good news. He went further to say, I'm still optimistic that with the downshift in the economy, we might flirt with a recession but we're not likely to get there yet. Nevertheless, Cushman acknowledges that the investing landscape is negative on almost every front. Indeed, Wall Street is closing amid a flood of selling that encompasses stocks and bonds, indicating both a likely path of higher interest rates ahead and a reckoning that the relatively rosy outlook for corporate earnings is unlikely to hold up. Although the chief investment officer of BlackRock, Rick Rader, shared his thoughts on the impending slump, more and more corporate announcements and earnings releases, or warnings, are reflecting a consumer that is now in a terrible mood given the decline in net disposable income. And, consequently, these consumers are dramatically slowing spending on the back side of it. Rick is concerned that the massive risk to consumer spending and job creation is that the current state of high inflation will push central banks such as the Fed to tighten policy too much and essentially fall into a damaging policy mistake. We're in a technical recession, Rick says. Also, Michael Burry, one of the biggest investors in the US, sees the inflation in the looming economic meltdown from another angle. The investor believes that one of the major causes of the excess cash flow in the economy is the development of the blockchain technology that holds cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. In a recent tweet, Burry predicts a consumer recession by December of this year. The only saving grace, according to Michael, is if people swear to own tech stock, cryptocurrency, and NFTs. Tom Seibel, another billionaire investor, shares the same view as Michael. Both men believe that unless the cash influx from crypto is curbed, there will definitely be a protracted recession. Tom shares his perspective on his Twitter page. I don't think this is going to be over until everybody swears that they will never own an NFT, they will never own crypto, and they will never own a technology stock. Quoting this tweet, Michael agrees vehemently with Tom, making allusions to the gory and very devastating economic depression of 1932. Such was the sign in 2002, 1932, and 74. 
Michael's predictions are even more intense than Musk's. He continued on his Twitter page on how difficult the coming days would be both for investors and the common man. The theater took more than a decade to overstuff, he tweeted. Not likely everyone gets out in less than a year. Burry rang the recession warning and issued a bleak holiday prediction in another recent tweet. In 2022, what brings a Christmas in July, he wrote. A disinflationary overstock consumer recession at Christmas. While the hope is that the US will not go into a recession, Elon Musk's perspective is very convincing. We want to weed out companies with negative economic policies that have created a fantastic bull in the economy. This bull, although much needed, has created a phantasmagoria of some sort, creating more money in circulation and even more severe inflation. That's all we've got for you on today's video. Do let us know what you think about Elon Musk's prediction of a greater economic recession, the current state of inflation, and the effect it would have on the global economy in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to like this video and smash the subscribe button for more amazing content. We'll see you in the next video. For now, stay safe and invest wisely.